ஆழ்வார் எம்பெருமானார் ஜீயர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் ஜீயர் திருவடிகளே சரணம் yesterday was aipasi abitam today we are into kartikai month satyam nakshatram usually we would see aipasi tiruvonam abitam and satyam together only but this time we celebrated aipasi satyam in the beginning of aipasi month satyam aipasi satyam is the Thirunakshatram of Payalwar and also Pinbalagaram Pirmal Jiyar. He is also known as Paschat Sundara Deshika Swami. We have seen the glories of Payalwar as part of the first three Alwars by Bhavam. Now we will enjoy the life and glories of Pinbalagaram Pirumal Jiyar. Pinbalagaram Pirumal Jiyar was born in Tiruputkuri. Tiruputkuri is a Divedesham near Kanchipuram. He was a dear and very close disciple of Nambillai. Nambillai was conducting and leading our Sampradayam from, from Sri Rangam. His Kalakshepams or lectures are renowned and he had many Sishyas. Among them, Pinbalagaram Pirmal Jiyar is one. Though Nambillai was a Grihastha, that is householder, Pinbalagaram Pirmal Jiyar, who is his disciple, was a sannyasi, a monk or a mendicant. Still, Pinbalagaram Pirmal Jiyar performed many services for his Acharya without fail, with great eagerness. The greatness of Pinbalagaram Pirmal Jiyar is known to us through Manavada Mamnigal who quotes him, who actually cites him as the example for a disciple who is fully situated in Acharya Bhakti in his Upadesha Ratinamalai 66th Pasuram. In Upadesha Ratinamalai, Manavada Mamnigal highlights the glories of Sri Vachana Bhushana Divya Shastram and he also explains the principles explained in Sri Vachana Bhushana. After explaining the principles, Manavada Mamnigal looks for a proper candidate who can be cited as the example for such dependence and total surrender unto one's own Acharya. There were quite a few in our Sampradayam already. Alavandar's disciple Devavari Andan was known to become very weak when he got separated from Alavandar during an occasion and he recovered on meeting up with Alavandar again. Similarly, Emberumanar Ramanuja had Baduganambi as his Sishishya, his Sishya, who had great attachment for Ramanuja and was totally surrendered to his Acharya only. Subsequently, there was Pinbalagaram Pirumal Jiyar, who was a dear disciple of Nambillai, who was also in the same category of Acharya Nishtai. Manavada Mamnigal cites Pinbalagaram Pirumal Jiyar in this Pasuram 
செய்யும் பின்பழகராம் பெருமாள்ஜியர் பெருந்திவத்தில் அன்பதுவு மற்றும் மிக்க ஆசையினால் நம்பிள்ளைக்கான அடிமைகள் செய் அந்நிலையை நன்னெஞ்சே ஊனமர எப்பொழுதும் ஓர் ஹி இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ட்ஸ் மனவாழ் மாமணிகள் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ட்ஸ் ஹிஸ் ஓன் ஹார்ட் தட் இட் ஷுட் டிசையர் ஃபார் தி சேம் ஸ்டேட் விச் பின்பழகராம் பெருமாள் ஜியர் வாசன் வேர் ஹி டிட் நாட் ஈவன் கேர் ஃபார் பரமபதம் வைகுண்டம் and was only focused on performing services to his own acharya there is a interesting and a beautiful incident behind manavala mamnigal writing this pasuram pinbalagaram perumal ji er was living in srirangam as we have seen before along with nambillai once he became ill he got sick so he prayed he requested a few sri vaishnavas to pray to sri ranganatha that he becomes cured soon we may wonder this is a pretty normal situation when we get sick we cannot go to anyone else but we can pray to emperman that we become cured but as per sri vaishnava principles it is contradictory to our nature our true nature sri vaishnavas who have realized that the soul is different from body from the body and the body will go through its own ups and downs will never pray for the well being of the body they will leave that to the karma to naturally take care but here pinbalagaram perumal ji here is looking out for the well being of for his body of his body so this was very surprising for the sri vaishnava so they immediately went to nambillai who was pinbalagaram perumal ji er's acharya and asked him why is ji er asking us to pray for his well being for his bodily recovery nambillai told them okay let us find the reason from different acharyas so nambillai sends these three vaishnavas to a few acharyas to find out what could be the reason and they follow the orders of nambillai and they go to these acharyas one acharya says maybe pinbalagaram perumal ji er likes the life in sri rangam the joyful life in sri rangam and he doesn't want to leave from here yet another acharya says pinbalagaram perumal ji er probably likes the nambillai's lectures which he doesn't want to lose at the moment that is why he probably desires to pray for his well being another acharya says perhaps ji er has taken up some tasks and he has not yet completed them and he would want to complete them maybe that is why he wants to live for a little longer the sri vaishnava has returned to nambillai and explained these answers to him nambillai also summons jeer pinbalagaram perumal jeer and explains what happened to him and then nambillai asks jeer if any of that was the reason and asks him to give an explanation pinbalagaram perumal jeer immediately praise to nambillai he says your highness you know everything but still you want this to come out from my own mouth so let me explain this when you go to bath in river kaveri every day 
as you will know i accompany you and on your return i perform the kaikaryam of fanning you from your behind that is my dedicated service and when i do that service i watch your divine body closely from the back and i see the beautiful sweat drops on your back i am not ready to lose that divine darshan every day that is why i prayed for my recovery hearing this number life becomes elated and the sri vaishnavas understand the total attachment of pinbadagaram perumal jiyar towards the divine body of the acharya nambillai this is the essence of our sampradayam too the duty of the acharya is to care for the soul of the sishya and the duty of the sishya is to care for the divine body of the acharya and nambillai having such sishya pinbadagaram perumal jiyar who was totally dedicated to him such is the glories of pinbadagaram perumal jiyar who had great devotion and dedication towards his acharya he has also done a great favor for us pinbadagaram perumal jiyar is the one who has documented the history of all the alvars in great detail along with their inner emotions and the history of all the acharyas starting with sriman natamunigal up to the times of nambillai this grantham is known as guru parampara prabhavam arayara padi that is 6000 padi in length this grantham covers the life and glories of all our alvars and acharyas in great detail and is a and is a very valuable treasure for us he has also composed another grantham named vartha malai which is also filled with great wisdom of our acharyas we have thus enjoyed the glories of pinbadagaram perumal ji a little bit let us pray to him to get such acharya bhakti alvar emberumanar ji r tiruvadigale sharanam ji r tiruvadigale sharanam please download our koil k o y i l app from google play store or apple app store to listen to or download upanyasams like these our website portal is k o y i l .org koil.org